to episode two of the vlog. And couldn't have started at a better time, really, because uh, young Matt's here. There he is. He's got one on. And I'd be lying if I said this was the first one that he had on. Um, this is towards the end of the session. We just finished filming, finished lots of product stuff for the next issue of Total Carp. And what you're on now? Is number nine. This is number nine. How outrageous is that? Number nine. I'm not even going to tell you how many I've caught. It's, I can't. I've had a carnage of a session, to be honest. <laughs> Loads of sleep. <laughs> uh, when I say that, I mean I've just been uh, netting Matt's fishes. Fishes? Netting Matt's fish. And uh, watching him rake them in. But it has been fantastic. Many 30s, many 20s. I think out of all the nine, you've, you, is it just one you've had under 20? Yeah. Everything else, 20 and above. We even got some of them, some of the bites on camera as well. I mean, you know you're doing well when you can actually set up a camera for it to go off live. That's exactly what's happened twice now. But yeah, um, so. It's been a minute since we did any filming for the previous vlog. Um, if you haven't already seen that, click, uh, let's go there. Click here if you haven't already seen that one. But the, I think we finished it on, we were actually here. We are at the Club Lake. We finished it on my first fish out of here. And I think the only way to start it again is with a few more fish from this lake. Because they are mega. They're amazing looking fish. And then a catch. Weird, he seems to be really slow and plodding and then occasionally just goes on a mad charge. But it's hard to tell. The water here is super deep, but super, super clear. So when it looks like they're really close in, the line is just going straight down. And it makes it seem like they should be very close, but they're actually not, and they're quite far out. It's very weird. The line is just here-ish, but the fish is actually, there we go, it's all backwards. Fish is all the way out there. It's exciting though, isn't it? Here we go where the magic happens. Cart Team England, sign him up. This man will rake him in. Yee -hee. Numero nine. Good work, mate. Well done. Hey! <laughs> oh, I can finally have some porridge. <laughs> Well-deserved porridge. Interrupting breakfast. I can't, um, can't get any work done with Matt around today because he's only gone and got another one on. We haven't even looked at the previous one that's in the net yet. It just, what, go on, you tell them, what happened? Literally just unhooks it, slung it back out there, put one spawn of bait out, literally hit the surface, and just saw my line cutting up through the water. Didn't even beep on the alarms yet. Just in, straight away. Talent, talent. Go on the carp gods. Cannot believe it. Just trying to actually film some bits over in my swim. Got the call again. Would you have to put my other net up, please? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, sorry, I forgot, I forgot how tough life is today. Gotta to get two nets on the go. Here, Nick. Well, I'll tell you one thing that you'll have that I don't. A stinky van, whee! Well, there you go, that's number 10. And I would get my rig straight back out there. But I've got to contend with this that has come in with that carp. Have fun sorting that one out. He must have literally had his head in the silkweed just spinning like a crocodile. <laughs> you death rolls later <laughs> and you've now got yourself some coated line. Yeah, I've got the weed lead core. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly the nicest one I've seen. But uh, one in that net, one in that net. I'm gonna try and get some work done. Look at him. That is outrageous. Wowzers. The dream. This is just a bit mental, isn't it? Absolutely. 12th bite. Hopefully 11 have landed. Hopefully. So whilst Matt plays this fish, a uh, bit of an update. There is a bit of a gap between the last ending of the vlog and this one so we've been 
fairly busy. I th that is my reason why the vlog has not been uh, a priority because we've been super busy with lots of different things. Uh, obviously, we're coming up to Christmas, so getting things like for that sorted. Uh, we've been on the bank with lots of different anglers. Um, so what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of a montage with who we've been with in now. He was just plodding around, suddenly woken up. The state of it, it's huge. Yeah, get in there. <laughs> this is a half tail. Have had him before. He does between 30 and 38 pound. Considering all the others are pretty big at the moment, he could be pretty big too. Hey! Beauty. He is absolutely mega. Just look at the colours on that. Absolutely love the fish in this lake. It looks so nice from that clear water. It's just blown away. Oh. Nice. We've got an even bigger one in the net there as well. Look at the size of the tail on it. It's a massive rudder, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I haven't even finished filming that, that fish we just had out on the bank and the rod goes again. See ya. This session has just been insane. Ridiculous. Absolutely kicked off. Black Betty. Bam a lamb. <gasps> similar. Similar, I think, right? <laughs> bites and 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 bites. What does you reckon? Well, I've gone over by a couple of pound each time, haven't I? So I'm going to say... Bigger than the common? What was the common again? 34, right? Yeah, I think that's bigger. I'm going to go 35, Five. 9. If I get it right... You've all got to subscribe. If you get it wrong, you've still got to subscribe. <laughs> 35 3. Oh, 35 3. I was close. That was a better guess. Proper cool fish, him, isn't he? Yeah. Old half tail, cut tail, whatever they call him. Had him before in my first year. A fair bit smaller than he is now. I think he was 31 back then. But proper, proper character of the lake. I'm more than happy to see him in his prime winter form at the moment. The dream. So long, you big car. See you later. It's really hard to watch it in here. Oh, there he is. Look. They all go into that same little bit, don't they? Yep. Right, I'm going 23 this time. Bang on the money. 23-4. Oh, 24-1. <laughs> I'm never going to guess one bang on. Post-match interview, how are we feeling, Matthew? Very happy. Carp number 12. <sighs> I think it's time to get home, though, now. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to run off before the next one goes again. <laughs> All righty. We're going to leave it there for today. I need to go. To be fair, I was going to go a while ago, but uh, fish have been pestering us, as you know. Um, but this will have a bit of a follow on in the next bit of the clip. It, the, the whole vlog isn't over yet, so don't go just yet. This is just the beginning. Can you believe it? There he is, chilling. Just before we go. How are you, mate? Good to see you. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you haven't enjoyed it, then you can't be that into carp fishing because this has been absolutely mental. So you must like it. Make sure you give us a thumbs up. 
and you subscribe for more future vlogs. You cannot have that face after the amount of fish you've had. I feel wrecked. Well, welcome back to the next part of the vlog. Now, today it is absolutely Baltic. Look at this, look at this. That is all ice. Ice, ice, baby. Not what you want. So, here I am. Uh, I'm on the bank doing some product filming and a few photos here and there. Um, but yes, we are at Barnston Lakes, which is one of my regulars and one of my favorite lakes. So yeah, super clear waters, really, really nice fish. There's three lakes on site. You've got the day lake, which is the one I've just shown you. You've got a syndicate lake, and then you've got a social lake, which we'll go and have a look at now. You didn't already know, you can book yourself onto these lakes, well, not the syndicate lake, via the Go Catch app. So if you're not aware of what the Go Catch app is, basically it's a platform where you can go online or on the app, book yourself onto lakes and venues that you may not have heard of before, like this. Um, get yourself booked on, book yourself a swim on the date that you want to do it, and you know that when you get there, you're gonna have a space to fish. So this is peg 13 on the day ticket lake, shallow end of the lake. I've had some mega results out of here, especially down this end. But yeah, so uh, if you haven't already done so, check this place out and have a look on the Go Catch app because there's plenty of 30s in the day ticket lake. So this is the social lake. There's four pegs on the social lake and then you've got, I'm gonna zoom into it, you've got the hut over there which has got a fridge, power, nice big space, a barbecue. I'm pretty sure there's toilets and a shower around there as well now, which is pretty cool. It's otter fenced all the way around so you're gonna have the place to yourselves. Beautiful place, really nice fishing here as well. I had a couple from here where me and Matt did our first feature together, which feels like forever ago. That'd have been April time. But yeah, anyway, just wanted to show you the place whilst I'm here. I love it. It's one of my favorite places to come. It's always very quiet as well. So if you want a uh, quieter venue with a good chance of catching a 30 pounder, it's a place to come. If you're out on the bank, let us know how you're getting on. If you have been catching, get yourself logged on to Carp Scene, which is on our website. I'm gonna put a little thing around here somewhere. Click on that, submit your catch report, and then that way you can get involved in having the chance at winning some really good sticky bait prizes. So bait bundles, um, and you can also get featured in the magazine. Yeah, coming back off uh, the last session that we were out the last part of this video, Obviously Matt had that massive hit of fish at our club lake. Unbelievable, still a bit gobsmacked by it all really because they were all on one rod. I didn't catch anything, but sometimes you don't win them all. That's what you gotta tell him. Keep consistent, keep working hard, and it will happen at some point. And that's what Matt does, he works hard. So fair play, absolutely fair play. But hopefully next time, it's my chance for a fish. Welcome back to the vlog. This is gonna be a short bit because the sun, as you can see, is disappearing. And we're very cold, aren't we, Matt? And the lake is frozen. And the lake is very frozen. Let me zoom in. Look at that bad boy. Woo! Essentially, today has been grafting, getting some bits done because we were meant to be out. Well, Matt was still out at Burnus Hall, but it was very cold. But what was it, like minus? Nine? Minus five, minus six. Well, I was close. So we just packed up. We've done like three, four bivvies photoed. We've done a very exciting Christmas video and a Christmas giveaway. So Christmas day, keep your eyes peeled for that one. You've probably already seen it at this point. Hope you all have, hope you've all had an amazing Christmas. If this doesn't go out until after Christmas or after New Year, hope you've had an amazing New Year, amazing Christmas. Hope you got everything you wanted. Um, and let us know what you got in the comments. I always like seeing what people got, especially carp gear over the Christmas period. It's all exciting, isn't it? So yeah, let us know. But I'm gonna sign out, a very quick one, and hopefully the next time you see me will be actually next week when we will, fingers crossed, be on the bank fishing. Good morrow. Here he is, the man of the dreams. Um, it's almost Christmas. We are a couple more days. What are we on now? 22nd now? 22nd of December, um, got loads to fill you in on. Not 
Nothing's happened over the last few days because I've had an absolute mare. I've kind of ruined our last week of filming and everything by my van dying. But here we are, back at the Club Lake. We love this place. Um, meant to be out Tuesday, Wednesday. That didn't happen because my van died on the way and then it's still not fixed. So uh, luckily I borrowed a car to come and finish the last few bits before we break it for Christmas. But we're going to do a little bit of casting practice. We've just done a bit of filming on Matt's barrow, Matt's power barrow from Nash. We're going to do a bed chair and now we're going to practice some casting because mm -hmm. I need all the help I can get if I'm going to catch any out of this lake. How far did you just whack it? 180 mats went, Matt went. Look at him. Smug man. 180. 180. So I'm gonna have a go. If I can improve my distance a little bit, then we're winning. Also, before anyone thinks bad of us, there is no one anywhere near where we are. So we're absolutely fine doing a bit of practice casting. Just so you know. Bring to the chest. Right then, sports fans, here we are on the Club Lake, blasting leads. Come on then, let me blast you into oblivion. That sounded a lot better in terms of movement. Thoughts, yeah. yeah. Well, there we are, sports fans. That's my workout for the day. It's just going to embarrass me by going the same wraps off his knees. <laughs> yeah, he didn't make it. Yeah. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a win for me. <laughs> We're never going to find out what I did. just did. So challenge is, what is it, Matt? I'm going to cast up my knees. I don't know whether that's an insult to me or not, <laughs> or just big in mats casting up. Either way, we're gonna do it. Oh dear, yeah, I reckon I'll get that. <laughs> what a shame. That was a good cast yeah. as well. <laughs> what a shame. I'm gonna win now. One-handed. Oh, you're giving me that. <laughs> I thought you are just doing a one-handed reel. Fast hands, big step, big man tings, big deep breath. Oh, I got there. It wasn't my best, though. No, didn't feel like it was very, very quick. You didn't time it very well. They're not. Hit it. Right, now I'm going to wrap it up, see what we're at. I mean, it's a bit of a win for both of us. Matt's just ridiculed me by doing the same cast off his knees, but it does mean I can now fish certain spots in the lake, which I could not before. I can't even see the thing. I reckon it's got to be close. I reckon it's got to be around 27, 30. Thirty-six and a half. Good show. It's not bad, is it? There he is. So, Matt. Hello. Did thirty-six wrap, thirty-six and a half wraps off his knees. I did hit the clip, so that means I've improved by a lot. I don't know how many I did before, but it definitely wasn't that much, was it? Nope. So he's doing well. Winner, winner. So we're going to end the vlog there for this episode. Um, obviously, we haven't really done any fishing, but that's because of things haven't gone our way this, this month. It's been about it's been another month. I've, been, I've done some fishing. He did some fishing. Yeah. In fact, oh, sorry, I I'm lying. I did two nights at Burners <laughs> Hall in four inches of snow. <laughs> and also, there will be some fishing in this vlog. I, I remember now, your, from your session, you'll find out. You probably have already seen 
mega amount of fish. And if, if you haven't already seen the full video, go and check that out, which is also on the YouTube. Uh, 25 minutes of just pure madness from Matt. And also some very good tips for fishing at night. Hopefully you've had a fantastic Christmas and New Year, because this will probably be uploaded in the New Year. So hopefully you've had a great Christmas and New Year. Get ready for another vlog, another episode of the vlog. Let us know what you think in the comments down below and make sure they what, Matt? Subscribe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anything else you want to add?